How goes it everyone? Leo Irish Zombie Nation. Now, today I have a outdoor arena review for you. I know, it's been a very long time since I've done an arena review. It's because we're going through a few changes with the arena. We're not concentrating so much on passing gear around. We're still going to be doing that, but there's going to be some changes coming up that I think you're really going to like. But today is a gear review for the outdoor arena, and that is on a great little knife. That is the Ontario Blackbird SK5. Look at that baby right there. Now this belongs to Jude from Wayside Adventures. He is a arena member and he sent this through a long time ago. And when uh, it came back to me, I took it out, did some testing and it sat in the bottom of a backpack that is hanging on my gear wall for, I don't know, a couple months now. I completely forgot that I even had this knife until just the other day. So Jude, I apologize. I'll get this back to you very soon. But this long overdue review is coming at you right now. First, let's deal with some specs. Overall length, 10 inches. Blade length, five inches. Now, how long do you think the handle is? Anyone, anyone? Ah, that's right, five inches, five and five. Very nice little uh, micarta handle scales here, but you can't get those anymore. These now come with uh, black G10 handle scales. We have an overall, let's see, what else do we have? We've got a uh, lanyard hole in the back. We have a full flat grind on this, tapered. We've got uh, the steel is 154 CM stainless steel. That's a very high carbon stainless steel. So this is very uh, corrosion resistant, easy to sharpen, maintain an edge, and it is very sharp. I'm gonna show you right now. Uh, first sheath right here, nylon sheath, plastic insert, slides in very nicely. Retention down below here with one snap, if I can get it snapped. Come on now. Man, that's a hard snap. All right, there we go. So snap works really well. Retains well, it's not falling out of there. A little bit of wiggle in there, that's all right though. No big deal with that. Drain hole at the bottom, molly on the back. So if you want to attach this to a pack or whatever, you can also just wear it on your belt, either using the molly strap or the actual belt loop right here. Let's see anything else to say about this sucker. Uh, I told you the steel, I told you the length. Uh, I think that's about it. Rockwell hardness on this, I believe is 58 to 60. I think that's pretty much it. Nice little knife. Let's show you how sharp she is. Now it came to me this sharp. I, if I remember correctly, I'm trying to put the sheath down somewhere. If I remember correctly, uh, James was the guy, Junkyard Fox, that reviewed this before me. And he had to sharpen it a little bit when he received it. So I haven't had to do anything with it with my testing though. It's still pretty sharp as you're about to see. There we go. No issues at all there. Nice and sharp. Now this is considered a wilderness survival knife. So I'm in the wilderness, as you can see, this is my backyard. There's all kinds of survival things I can do out here. And I'm gonna do those right now. I don't know exactly what yet, but we're gonna stab, we're gonna slice, we're gonna dice. We're just gonna go at it, baby. So here we go. Thanks for joining me. Let's go over to the stump top and start doing some slicing. Let's get a nice close up on the blade here. Do, 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 do. There we go. Again, those handle scales now are black G10, so you're not gonna get these micarta ones. Kind of a boxy shape to it but it is still comfortable. I don't have any problems at all with this. No jimping, of course, which I prefer. 90 degree spine, nice kind of satin polished blade there. Could do some reflecting with that. Let's get over here. Now this is a wilderness survival knife, so let's do a little feathering. I haven't done that in a while. Let's go ahead and try that out. There we go. Because of the full flat grind, how thin the blade is, which if I remember correctly, it's a point 19 or point 13th of an inch thick, but with full flat grinds like this, I mean, look how thin I'm getting those. This is green wood, but very, very nice. Yeah, very comfortable. See there, that's what I was able to do that. Let's do a little notching. Some push cuts, actually, there we go. We should stand over here so you can see this a little bit better. Nice and comfortable, not having any issues there. Blade feels really nice. I like the look of it. It's very simplistic. The guy that designed it, I can't remember his name. I think it's Paul 
Scheiter or Sheeter or something like that, but he said this was all about simplicity. It's what he designed it for. There we go, a little notch. Got a nice big fat piece of fat wood here. Gonna shave some of that off, see if we can use that 90 degree spine to get her going. It's out of the way. All right, that should be plenty. Break those off of there. Gather that all up. It's a little windy out here. Hopefully this won't blow away on me. I'm usually a cotton ball and Vaseline kind of guy, so got to get my bushcraft skills back up. All right, here we go. Can I do it? There we go. So 90 degree spine, no problem at all. Getting a little bit of fat wood going for a fire. Blade looks real nice right there too, doesn't it? With the fire in front of it. Yeah. <laughs> Here we have one of my old boots. We're gonna do a little stabbing with it. See how well it goes through this leather. Let's get it on the side here. There we go, like that. Get it about there. Uh, yeah, not... These boots are extremely durable. So if it goes through at all, I'd be amazed, but it did. Went through there, did not, put, well, now it didn't puncture through the other side though. Tip is a little dull on this in general. I don't know. There we go, went through that time. You probably can't see down in there, but it did. Let's try a little slicing. Ew, God, what the hell was that? Oh, I really hope that was mud. <laughs> All right, little slicing. This is extremely durable material. You probably saw my review. If you haven't, check it out. These boots are awesome. There we go. God, I really hope that was mud on the bottom of that boot. <laughs> All right, slice through pretty well. I'm not gonna try stabbing this composite toe. Let's try some of the rubber on the side here. See how well that slices off. Oh yeah, very easy. Now, if you ever need a quick fire starter quick piece of tender a little bit of rubber off the bottom of your boot will do it I've done that before works well rubber burns hot and long so there you go try stabbing through there Got flat yeah it doesn't pierce very well I'd say this is more of a slicey knife than a stabby knife now you might find yourself in a survival situation someday and you'll be happy that you had this knife with you not only can it help you, let's say you climb a tree and you're getting some fruit down, some apples or whatever. I don't know what, what kind of tree you're climbing, but you see some kind of food up in a tree and you climb up and you're cutting it down and you're getting some nourishment for yourself. You can also then use this for self-protection should you see some animals come up towards a tree. I mean, you got to worry about bears. You have to worry about bobcats, all kinds of stuff in North America where I live. But, uh, you know, you also have to worry about wild packs of roaming chihuahuas like this one. I mean, four against one, I'd be done if I didn't have this handy little survival knife ready to just gut a chihuahua, put them over the fire, and have me a good meal along with my berries that I picked out of the tree. So that's just a realistic survival situation right there. You never know when that could happen. You'd be happy to have this Blackbird SK-5 with you if that ever did. Okay, so that was a look at the Ontario Blackbird SK-5. Nice little bushcraft survival knife, wilderness survival as they call it. I like it. I can't speak about the new handle material. Uh, G10's always been comfortable to me. I do like my Carta better, but this was nice. Uh, some people, you know, they complain about the blockiness of the handle a little bit. I didn't have any problems with it. Reminds me of my Essies, and I like my Essies. So, uh, yeah, nothing I can really say. Let's tell you about the price on this sucker. Price, you're looking at Amazon's the cheapest I found it. Just on a quick search, it was $107 there. Knife Center had it for, I think it was like $120 somewhere in there. So you're gonna spend just over 100 bucks on this little knife. It's a nice one. There's others out there of a reasonable, or I should say a similar cost that I would probably go with before this, like a, an LT Ride or something like that, Battle Horse Knives. But if you're in the market for Ontario, Ontario makes great blades. I love Ontario, as you've seen before on my channel. I love my, uh, my what is it, my SP1, my SP13, my Tonto 8 had that knife for so many years. Ontario Knife Company makes durable, last the rest of your life knives, and this is definitely one of them. So Jude, this is coming back your way now. We've had it long enough. 
I want to thank everyone for watching. Please comment down below. Let me know if you have any questions about this blade or if you have any questions or comments in general down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Be on the lookout for more arena videos coming soon. Like I said, we're changing up the formula. We're going to do something a little bit different. I think you're going to like it. So thanks again, everyone. And until next time, see you around the fire.